today I'm talking about four easy, quick ways you can make any outfit more interesting. Hey, this is Netta. Welcome to my channel. My whole goal for this channel is to help you feel confident in your style over 40, to feel stylish and have a wardrobe that really supports you, works for your lifestyle, works for your personal style, all of the things. So one of the tools that I've created is something that I call the Fashion Essentials Over 40 Wardrobe Guide. So if you go to nettamanley.com slash essentials, you can download the guide there. One of the, the things that I think is so important about a guide like this is it really kind of talks you through the staple pieces, the basic pieces, the essential pieces that you need to build a wardrobe. These are the pieces that fill in the blanks in your wardrobe. If you have things in your wardrobe that you do not know what to pair with, something in the essentials um, list will always work for you. These are staple workhorse pieces of your wardrobe. And if you're going through any kind of a transition, maybe you're going through a lifestyle transition or a weight transition, I always say to start with these pieces. 10 to 12 wardrobe essentials are enough to fill in the gaps in your wardrobe and get you dressed on a daily basis without breaking your budget on clothes that you're going to be wearing temporarily. Like if you're going through a size transition, for example. So keep that in mind um, if you're, if you're, currently trying to build a wardrobe, if you start with the essentials, these are pieces you'll get a lot of mileage out of. And they can stand alone as outfits. But this is what I hear a lot from women. Um, if you go ahead and get the 10 to 12 wardrobe essentials, I'll show just an example of what they can look like here. Um, then, and, and these are just a few, there are, there are more than that. But if you get you know a handful of wardrobe essentials, basic, neutral, solid for the most part pieces that, um, that can really be very versatile in your wardrobe, you can put them on in an outfit and feel like the outfit is kind of boring, kind of uninspired. Now there are ways to get around this. Of course, if you pick really interesting pieces for your essentials, you pick really elevated pieces, your basics are not as basic. You've got a really interesting top, you know, like for example, a white button down top. It has a really cool shape, really cool fabric, really cool details. It can elevate a basic outfit of, of a top and pants, right? If you've got a really great silhouette of your pants, um, that can also elevate. So your basics can be elevated they can also reflect your personal style if you have simple style or or like minimal style or classic style you may feel that it's aligned with your personal style to wear things um, in a simpler way so to take the outfit essentials the staples the my fashion essentials wear them on their own and add minimal accessories and that might be truer to your personal style if however you put on the fashion essentials you put on for example, a white button-down top and dark pants, and you're like, I'm uninspired. This is boring. It doesn't feel like me. Then I'm gonna give you some strategies for taking any outfit, the most basic outfit that you own, and making it more interesting. Okay, so these are little, little tweaks that you can do that I think will make every outfit look a little more interesting. Okay, the first thing I suggest doing is to add color. Now, I've done a video where I talk about the shoes that every woman should own where I'm not talking about styles, I'm talking about finishes, like color, pattern, texture, that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna link that below, but what you want to do is look at ways that you can add color to an all neutral outfit. So for example, you're wearing a little black dress, right? How do you make a little black dress more interesting? You can add a pop of color. As I've said in, in my styling tips over 40, adding a single pop of color, I feel is a more contemporary look. It's not a rule. You can definitely add more than one pop of color, but I feel like it's a contemporary look to add a single pop of color to an all neutral outfit. So just adding a pop of color um, to something that's neutral. It can be a bag, it can be shoes, it can be a piece of jewelry, it can be a headband, it can even be the color of your nail polish or the color of your lipstick if you're used to. If your whole outfit is, is, is very simple, very neutral, and you've got like a really poppy shade of lipstick or shade of nail polish, that can even add a little subtle dose of color to your outfit. So adding color to a neutral outfit is one of the ways you can make any outfit look a little bit more interesting. Okay, the second thing I suggest is adding pattern. 
So I, you know, I love leopard. I talk about leopard all the time, but leopard is not the only pattern you can add. You can add any pattern to a neutral outfit and make it look more interesting. It can be plaid, it can be stripes, it can be polka dots, it could be, um, you know, whatever, paisley, it can be whatever pattern um, floral that you like and uh, respond to. And that brings a fun and different element into a simple outfit. So again, we're starting with a very simple outfit. We're starting with a really basic outfit. What do we do to make it more interesting? Adding pattern is a really easy way to do that. Now, of course, you can add pattern with shoes. You can add pattern with a bag. You can have a cool pattern. There are some really, really pretty silky, like um, kind of slouchy fabric uh, clutches that are in stores right now that I think are amazing. And if you've got a neutral wardrobe, you've got a wardrobe that has a lot of basics or a lot of solids in it, adding one of these printed uh, purses can be a really, really nice touch. Of course, you can add a scarf. You can add, um, you know, even a scarf tied onto the handle of your bag. Any little way that you add pattern to your outfit, a little leopard belt, you could say, you know, wear a chambray top and white skinny jeans, add a little leopard belt. That's adding a little pattern and taking the outfit and keeping it from being boring and kind of predictable and making it a little bit more interesting. Okay, the third suggestion for taking an outfit and making it more interesting is to add shine. I love shine. I think that metallics, especially in spring and summer, are so essential. A pair of metallic shoes is literally the most neutral spring summer shoe. So whether you're looking at an espadrille or a wedge or a flat sandal or a ballet flat or a slide or a mule, whatever you're looking for in terms of shoe style, getting that shoe in your metallic of choice is such a smart um, move because those metallic shoes will go with everything. If you prefer gold, if you prefer silver, if like me you like both, you'll want both. Um, it can be gunmetal, it can be bronze, it doesn't have to be a bright or shiny metallic if that's not your thing, but adding a little bit of shine in the form of a metallic accessory is such a great way to make an outfit more interesting. So of course you can do that with jewelry. A metallic, you know, chunky gold chain necklace, I'm wearing a delicate one now, but a chunky gold chain necklace, a pair of statement gold hoops or silver hoops, um, a great gold cuff uh, or silver cuff, um, you know, a metallic belt, metallic bag, metallic shoes, and any accessory that you're adding to your outfit. Adding something that has a little bit more heft to it, a little bit that's a little bit more statementy in a metallic is going to be a great way to take it a, a a, a, you know, potentially boring outfit and make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, the fourth thing I want to talk about when it comes to making an outfit more interesting is to add texture. This is especially effective when you're wearing an all neutral outfit and even more effective when you're wearing an all monochromatic outfit. Because if you add texture in a monochromatic outfit, it takes it from looking boring and maybe a little lackluster and makes it look really elegant and rich and sophisticated. Um, so layering textures in the same neutral color is so, so chic and such an easy little um, little hack to making an outfit that's all neutral um, look, look like you've put so much thought into it. So for example, a silk top with um, a cashmere cardigan over the top and jeans all in the same tonal shades, so elegant and so effortless um, to get a, to, to elevate your neutral look. So if you are building your wardrobe using the essentials that I have talked about and you've chosen your best neutrals, this should be easy because you're taking a neutral, in, say you're dark neutral, or your light neutral, but you're taking your neutral blouse and your neutral sweater and your neutral pants or bottoms that are all in the same neutral and wearing them all together. And you've got those different textures going on. The more that you layer on those textures, the more um, sophisticated and expensive actually that the outfit can look. So adding texture is a really, really fun way and an easy way of taking an outfit that could potentially be boring and making it a little bit more interesting. So if you're looking for a really easy way to do this with all of your outfits, just have a variety of shoes that check all of those boxes. Color, 
pattern, shine, and texture. If you've got those in your accessories, you can take an interest, a, 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 a simple outfit, a staple outfit, and make it look really, really interesting. So um, I kept it short and sweet this time, but I want you to, to just kind of start looking at your outfits that way. What can I do to take this outfit from being okay to being amazing these are little strategies that you can you can ask yourself every single day as you're getting dressed a little kind of mental checklist to go through what can i add to this outfit to make it look more interesting make it feel more like me whatever you do with accessories accessories are really the way that you show your personality and your personal style in your outfits you can take the most basic of basics and make them your own by adding fun personalized accessories that really express your, your your unique style vision. So I hope that you have fun with this. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. If you want more videos like this, where we talk about taking outfits and transforming them into looks that really, really feel like us, let me know in the comments. Of course, hit the subscription button if you haven't already, the like button and the notification bell. I upload new videos every Tuesday, every Friday. See you in the next one.